Hey there, hey there, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond, welcome me to another Tough Belt Boxing Tournament. We did the 1940 tournament, but we made a change. No Americans were allowed to compete because they won seven straight titles. So, Prince Hamed got in, I think Hamed, and beat the Cuban Miguel Acevedo. Now the good news for Miguel Acevedo is simple, because that means, well, he's 4-1. and one. Which means he hasn't hit the seven fight threshold, which means he's still eligible to compete. So it not now remember this was so the nineteen eighty eight tournament? Let's go nineteen eighty nine. We're gonna go nineteen eighty nine. So Acevedo will compete in the nineteen eighty nine tournament. Guaranteed. Alright, so let's just make sure. We got these guys in nineteen eighty nine. Now that Oh, whoever wins this tournament is guaranteed to be in Group B for the for the whole thing. So, okay. Oh, no. Oh, it would help if I picked a fight. All right. So, what year? Nineteen eighty nine. So, here are the rules. First off, we have to see how many belts these guys have. If you have six, six belts, and you're not, and you did not win a tournament, lots of sevens, sixes. So, for example, Gilberto Roman of Mexico would qualify. Dwight Kwai, because he won a tournament, would not He's five and one, but he won a tournament, so he can't win. So it'll be Jorge Paez. Let's see here. Four and two. Barry, Barry McQuigan. No. Oh yes, sorry. Page six, man. All of these guys were seven fights who were alive, who were still fighting in 1989. Uh, okay, so let's see. Aaron Davis, four and two. Livingstone, because you have to win five matches in a tournament. So if you have six fights, but you have less than five wins, obviously you're going to make it through. Five. Five fights. So if you get to five fights, but you're above 500, you're basically guaranteed a spot. Lots of two and threes. There's Sun Kill Moon. Don't bother with this. Oops. Page seven, right? Two and three. Oh, and five. Two and three. Two and three. Let's see here. Who do I want? Let's go with Oliver McCall. Why not? Give this guy a spot or he'll cry. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't really be a bitch. Okay, so let's see. Guys own one, right? Ayuko. Let's go with uh, Aaron Serrate of Mexico. Because I'm a, I'm a sucker for Japanese culture. Okay, so let's see. How many guys with four fights? If you're three and one, that means you've lost the semifinal, but you haven't been invited back. Nope. Lots of two and twos. So I'm going to go with Jerry Cooney versus... Who should I go? Who should I pick? Let's go with Uriah Grant for Jamaica. Jamaica me crazy. All right, so let's just, okay, so these guys, so now we go to rating, we go to the rating system again, page 29, five, so rating five, so we'll go page five, anyone, okay, Jimmy Paul, he hasn't been given a chance to fight, he will face Brian Mitchell of South Africa. Page 58. Lots of fives. Oops. 
Right. It has to be men. Terry Norris. Take on Sun Kill Moon. Can't be. Shabbat Roman. Oliver McCall. Central's Lace here. Come on, guys. Give me a good page. Steve Collins. Okay. So the first three pages of guys can't be. Page one. Page nine. James Kinchin takes on Mike Hunter. Carl Thompson and Pykel. Les Pykel. I don't remember him. Page 46 turns into uh, page 6. A little random. Jeff Herding. I think I... No, I don't think I touched him. And he will face Humberto Gonzalez. Yeah, I didn't do Jeff Hardy the second time. All right. Uh, Tenoria, page two. Page four. Let's go with Junku versus uh, Balbui of France. Um, Lamar Parks, page 13. Uh, I would love to say yes, but no. Mickey Ward. I'm surprised at how bad he was with the rating system. He will face Tommy Tate. I didn't say anything bad. Fuck. Stop texting me. Or calling me or whatever. Uh, Nigel Ben. I... I think I passed him over, didn't I? I think I did. I think I passed him over. So he gets James Warren. Did I pass Nigel Ben? Yes, I did. And this matchup, Troy Weaver is page 32, so let's go with page 4. And it would be dude, Tony Tucker. And he will face Mr. Um, Azevedo. Mr. Miguel Azevedo. Surprise, with all the Azevedos, there was only three of them. So, a lot of Koreans. Three Koreans. Some Mexicans, no Canadians in this. Pissing me off, of course, but just goes to prove that Korea somehow, in some way, will buy their way into the title. If you don't know what I mean, talk about the 1988 Olympics and all that. They do have a champion, Korea does. They have one. Wales is the last country to win the tournament. That was like 13 days ago. First semifinal, we'll see. Speaking of Korea, Sun Kill Moon against Sherberto Roman. So it's Mexico Korea in this semifinal. From South Korea, Sherberto Roman. From Mexicali, Mexico. He only was 29 when he died. Whoa. Shit. 29 years old. He was super lightweight champion and he died. Yikes. 54, 6, and 1. Roulette. Well, in the in the universe, he beat Obo Mejas before getting killed by Troy Quarry. He lost to Meng Wu, Korean. He TKO'd Nate Miller and Tony Tucker before Matthew Son Muhammad took him down. And then he has beaten Jorge Paez by TKO, knocking him into retirement. Decision. Benny Curto and put a TKO on Aaron Davis, putting him in retirement. On the other side, Sun Kill Moon from Seoul, South Korea, 22 0, Super Flyweight and Bentway Champion. He beat Gerald McClellan before losing to Harry Castro. Then he beat Terry Norris and Nate Miller in the tournament before losing to Polly Ariela. And then he has beaten Oliver McCall, putting him in on six. Yokota of Japan killed him, and he killed Jimmy Paul, putting him in retirement. So. This will be interesting.
From the career of Pope Roman on the bench. Now it's Nigel Bennett and Jeff Hardy. So, so Harding versus Bank. Wow, that means we will see a non-American in the final. We'll have a no. We'll have two countries. Australia and England will fight. The winner faces the Korean Moon. Two different countries will fight. None of them will be American, and it was legitimate that there were there were double-digit Americans in this tournament. Wow. From Australia. So, yeah. Australia versus England. Colonial Battle Royale. Australia has had four champions, and England's had two. Well, Prince Hamid's the defending champion. Jeff Harding, the hitman from... Sydney, Australia, 23 and 2, late heavyweight champion. Good personal history. He lost to Sergei Kovacev in his first fight, but then beat Humberto Gonzalez and Sugar Baby Rojas before losing to Jorge Castro. But Kaled Humberto Gonzalez, Kaled Carl Thompson, and he killed Terry Norris, putting him in retirement. In the meantime, Nigel Bent, the Dark Destroyer, 42 5 and 1, super middleweight and middleweight champion. A nice. Resume of his own. He lost his first two fights to Ors Orso Burl uh, Nazarov and Jorge Castro. What is with the Jose Castro? Kale James Warren before losing to Paul Hale. But he beat James Warren by TKL. He decisioned Tony Tucker, putting him in retirement. And he decisioned Jung Ku Chang, putting him into retirement. So, yeah, the Americans have tried. They actually did try, but they haven't met them. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. That's a TK. Oh my gosh, Jeff Hardy is a bloody mess. Well, was that good? Yeah. 
then the Pink Destroyer was going to get him. So Nigel Ben is in the final against Jeff I'm against Sun Kill Moon. So Korea is looking for their second champion. England is looking for their third champion and second in a row. So yeah, Nigel Ben just had it. So he gets Sun Kill Moon. Both these guys have more than seven fights, so this will be their last dance, if you will. Jeff Fennish is the trainer to Sun Kill. Nice. They're in Korea. Korean media says we will not have you desecrate this by having a contest, so fine. And, well, thanks to that, well, bad news for England is that the winner is the Korean Sun Kill Moon. So I guess talking about Korea in a negative light actually helped Korea out, in a sense. So Sun Kill Moon moves on to the tournament. He'll be in Group B, but nicely done. Nigel Ben, not so much. He tried. There were no good idiots in this group, so what the hell. 